Good morning, everybody. This is today's look for the get ready with me. I am super late. I literally gotta leave, but if you guys wanna get ready together, grab your makeup brushes and let's get ready together. Without further ado, let's get ready together. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Let's get ready together. So I finally have some a bit of space in my phone to actually film a video, but there's gonna be a lot of cuts, and it's just because I'm gonna be like blending the stuff off camera, just to save as much space on my phone because I actually want to complete a full video there because I haven't completed a full video in a while well look I got a new headband so if you guys have seen I got these and now I have a little twin stars one. It's from the creme shop I got this at TJ Maxx it has Kiki and Lala on it and it has a little star it's so cute oh so I did already apply my sunscreen so that's really exciting and yeah so without further ado let's get ready together okay so starting off I did buy this essence prime like a boss eyeshadow base and I tried it yesterday and I didn't really need a primer brush, so I'm just going to use my finger and it's a little bit. So it comes off like very, very light and it doesn't have any base to it, so it doesn't offer any coverage. And we are doing a light shadow today, but I want to test out how well this can apply the lighter shadows. We are doing more pastel -y and yellowy shades, but I want to see how this would apply it. Oh, and I did buy a new primer. I need to, I haven't even updated you guys on my other stuff, but I will probably do a like a full review maybe in a month because I feel like a product sometimes you need a month. You need to figure out what works with it, what doesn't. So, this is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur Pore Minimizer, it's the clear one. It's supposed to be the dupe for the Smashbox. And I really want to sit out. I want to see how it works. I want to see if it actually works for my oily skin. A lot of people recommend this one for oily skin. But then a lot of people are also recommending the e.l.f. one that I already own. And it works. It does. But I still get really oily. And I'm trying to see. Maybe I need to use multiple primers or something like that. So how have you guys been? I've been great. So if you guys haven't noticed, I've been uploading... Or I think I've uploaded on shorts my past get ready with me's and then I do upload on TikTok as well so if you guys wanted to see other get ready with me's that I didn't get to do like a full talkative video go check out my TikTok and go check out my YouTube shorts because they're up there sadly it's literally just audio like voiceover recording but we're still getting ready together yeah I think the last one I uploaded was like super chaotic I think yeah or yeah, I think the other day I was like really, really late, so it was super bad. So now that our base is pretty much set, let's go in and do our eyeshadow. So I have it in my Hello Kitty bag, Cam Shop bag. It's from their Angel collection, it's from their Y2K collection. Yeah. So, as you guys already know, we already kind of prepped what we're going to use. If you guys haven't seen my Let's Prep in, for the Week video. So that's the first time I've ever doing one of those. Those were really, really fun to do. So I really hope you guys look forward to those videos because I know I've always wanted to do those videos because before I would always, always prep. It was always just my thing and it's just routine since I was like a little kid. Like I'd always prep my stuff like the night before or maybe even like outfits wise. I'd prep them like a week before. And so I've still had that habit even now in my big old age. <laughs> so... It's super, super exciting now. So excited to share that with you guys. So if you guys love those videos, let me know. And if you guys don't love them, well, I'm going to keep uploading them. Because those are honestly, like, the best part of my week. Because it's, I usually try to do those more towards the end of the week. And then to prep for the new week. And then I just get excited for the new week. It's a lot. So. So let's start with our eyeshadows. You guys already know we already prepped these two profusion palettes and then we prepped our glitters. Now that the day is here, I don't actually know what I want to do. I really wish I should have gone in with that white base, but I really want to try that Essence eyeshadow primer just because today is a long day. But you know what? We are going to do, I kind of want to do pink and then yellow, but I feel like it doesn't go because yellow is lighter than pink. You know, should we just do pink? Should we just do yellow? Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the BH6 brush, it's just this 
fluffy packy brush. I'm going to go in Perfusion Pastel in the shade Sunshine. It has a slight shimmer, so it is going to pack a lot better. See, it's not that great because you see how it packs on the brush. It doesn't pack evenly. And that's also how you can tell just a little bit with the brush. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not all eyeshadows are like that, but you can kind of get an idea on the way that it will lay on the brush. See how it lays unevenly? Do you guys see that? It also applied unevenly. So that's just my little tip. So we are going to do yellow on the inner portion of our lid and then we are going to blend it out and then apply some pink. So let me just go and pack this in and I will be right back. So now that I've packed on that yellow color, we are going to go in and blend it out just a little bit. So I'm going to take this BH Fluffy brush, this is the Fluffy Crease brush, and I'm going to go into the Perfusion Desert Sage palette and I'm going to take the shade Distance. It's a slightly lighter version of that Perfusion Pastel palette. And it does have some glitter, so it is going to blend a little bit more easily. And I'm just going to take that onto the top, making sure that that shade from the Pastel palette is nice and blended. There's no harsh edging. And I am going to just pat it in, because from what I've noticed with these shades, you need to pack it in, and then once you've applied as much as you wanted, then you can start wiping it in circular motions. And see how much smoother it just looks compared to this eye? This eye looks like it has a harsh line, and that's not really what I'm going for today. I don't really know where this look is going, to be honest. I was thinking of doing pink in the front and then yellow. I mean, we can technically still do it. We can just take out the yellow and then just apply some pink. But, I don't know, I kind of like that. Okay, so now it's time for the pink. This look is going to be fairly simple, honestly. It's not going to be much. Now for the pink portion, I am going to go in back in with the Provision Pastel palette. And I'm going to take the shade Bashful and I'm going to use that same fluffy brush. But I'm going to use Clean Side. Going into the shade Bashful. This is beautiful pink. You guys have seen this in other Get Dowdy with me. It's such a beautiful color. See how this one laid really nicely on the brush? That's one way you can always tell if it'll pack on nice. And this is a shade that packs on super nicely too. Like this is one of my favorite shades of this palette. For some reason it just works super well. Now to blend it in, I'm just going to start packing it and then I'm just going to lightly sweep. This really blends in really easily with that yellow shade. See how easy that was to blend? <laughs> now I do feel like we need a deeper color because this looks just a little too light for my liking. Or actually, let's just finish up the look the way that I was thinking of doing it because I feel like you lose the pink. Maybe not as much as, you know, you lose it also in person. You lose it a lot on camera, but you can see it in person, but it is it is pretty lost. So now I want to go in with the Perfusion Highlighting Palette. And I want to take the shade... Well, these don't have names, but it's this like beautiful, mauve rosy pink. These are gorgeous highlights. They apply so nicely. I'm just going to take it on this white and wild flat brush. And I'm going to apply it towards the center. Now, because this is a highlight, it applies differently than if it were a shimmer shadow. So it's not really applying, so I'm going to take some on my finger. Now that's looking better. So I'm going to pack this in, and I will be right back. So now I've applied that, and it packed more nicely on this eye for some reason. It just doesn't have as much impact on this eye as much as this eye, so that kind of sucks, but... It's okay. So we are going to go into some glitter. So that basically will work as a base shade. And I'm thinking of doing dimensional glitter. So I kind of want to do that. Let's go in with the pink base first. So I'm going to take the Cara Beauty Sparkle So Much in the shade. Are these all the same? Oh no, this one's Sparkle So Much. And I'm going to take this pinky shade. Just a dab of it. You see? Oh, that's this finger that I used to highlight on, but yeah. You'll see once I apply. 
so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to kind of look straight into my mirror so that I don't apply too much. Because it, it is at this moment that I just realized that I did not apply a NYX glitter glue as I should have. I mean, I usually don't have a problem with these falling out, but I just always be careful. Always be careful when you're using glitter, babes. And doing the same thing with the eye, just looking straight. That's pretty. It, for some reason, this eye is just coming out so much better. Does that ever happen to you guys too? Like one eye just comes out better. Eyeshadow wise, eyeliner wise. Sometimes even like one side of my face just comes out better. Like it's just more blended. It just looks better. I think that's as best it's gonna get. It came out really pretty on this eye though. Now I, I kind of don't think I want to go in with a deepening shade, but we'll see. Excuse the dogs, I'm sorry. Um, now for, oh, I think I'm going to take the Glam My Way, the other palette that we prepped. And I'm going to go in with the shade because it's like white, but it has a bit of yellow and green. I'm just going to take a tiny dab of it and hopefully just get the yellowy breaks. And we are going to add some dimension and just paint right in the center of the eye. That is so pretty. I feel like it does not catch on my camera. Applying it really towards the center to get that nice line of just brighter shimmer. That is gorgeous. That came out so pretty. You guys see that? There's pink and then there's just like a little like a line of yellowy orange. Do you guys see that? Probably not. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that so much. Um, I actually kind of really like that pinky shade because I feel like that pinky shade matches my shirt really, really well. And if I were to go in with a darker shade, it'll make it a little too pink. I need to get a mauve shade like this one, but a deeper version of this. I feel like that's super, super hard to find. I cannot find that. So if you guys have any recs, let me know. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I don't have a shade like this or a darker shade of this i need these because you guys know i've been obsessed with cool tones especially cool tone pinks and cool tone mauves absolutely gorgeous just cool tones in general okay so now should we do liner i feel like it needs liner so let's do liner i'm gonna take my paintbrush and i'm going to take Okay, so I'm going to take the Desert Sage Patch and I'm going to take my little paintbrush and I'm going to go into the shade Uninhabited, which is this darker brown shade. I'm actually going to mix it with this shade. That shade is called Death Valley. Just because this is kind of more reddish brown and this is like cocoa brown. That's a really pretty shade. The liner came out pretty good today. I feel like because we kind of lose the eye a bit, I'm going to drag my liner. Or actually, no, I'm just going to fill in the front part of my eye, the like little fold that I have. And I'm just going to do that by looking down in my mirror. And I already know where my fold is, so that just makes it so much easier. And just filling it in. So that when I look up, there's that slide bit of definition. It's really, really subtle, but it's one of those parts where it's in makeup detailing where you can really see. See how much, like, you can see it on camera too. I feel like you can really see it compared to this eye. It's just much more defined. Just a little tip, I recommend doing this before you apply glitter, especially if you are apply glitter all the way down to the bottom of your eye. Almost close, really close to your lash line. Especially if that glitter is not super secure, you can, like, drop a flake and it can end up in your eye. So... Just be aware of that, in case you forget, like me. See how much, much more defined my eyes are? I kind of went to an inner corner, but like the inner, I don't really want to. Not today. Oh, I think I'm losing my voice. <sighs> oh, so if you guys saw my other TikTok from probably a couple days ago, I went to the Haunted Trails. Super, super fun, but I, I got scared, so I screamed a lot, so I feel like my voice disappears and then comes back and then disappears again so yeah okay we need to start getting finished getting ready i'm late i woke up late i was supposed to wake up a while ago so i can really perfect the look but i didn't and that's okay 
So I'm just going, I really want to try my new foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 128 Warm Nude. I don't really know. I feel like it fits, but I feel like it doesn't fit. Yeah. I forgot to charge my light, but good thing that there's a lot of light right now. So I should probably stand this up so I can see myself. Because I'd just be using my phone. I don't think I should put it up there. I was about to put it like all on top of my water bottle, but that's not. I shouldn't do that. What if it falls and it breaks and then it's sad? So let's set it up over here. I'm practically done with my eyeshadow, so I'm going to put this behind it so that it can like stand up. There we go. Okay, so now my mirror is set. Oh, excuse that. Let's close that I need to put away and hold. And I just haven't done that. So that doesn't exist. Don't look at it. <laughs> okay, so let's start getting ready because I'm late. Per usual, but I'm going to take that same flat foundation brush that I used in our last get ready with me because I did not pack a brush and I do not want to know where my sponges are. Oh wait, I have pink sponges somewhere. I, I, I'm already late, let's just not. I hate that this does not have a pump. So my first impression was this, is that I hated the packaging. I feel like it's just too messy and I don't know how much to apply either. So let's start with that. Ooh, the primer, now that it's set, it does feel really, really smooth. Obviously, we do have a more tacky, not tacky base. Like, you can feel that there's something on there because we do have a very moisturizing sunscreen. But, something to note. But then, like, once I said, like, that's literally just me because I do use a moisturizing sunscreen. I want to see how this applies. That looks really light. Doesn't that? Or does it match? My face is pink and then my body is yellow. So I never really know until I'm like out in the sun. I'm going to apply just a little bit more because I feel like... Let's see. Oh, I applied a little bit too much on this one. Let's see. Let's try to apply a thin layer. I'm going to apply a bit on my forehead. My forehead has gotten really, really tan. I literally have bangs. I don't know how that happened. I thought the bangs would cover just a little bit. Okay, so there's still a foundation on my brush. So I'm going to take the cleaner side and then I'm going to try and blend this out. Okay, so to save space on my phone, I'm going to just blend this out off camera. I'll be right back. So now that I've applied the foundation, I used whatever was extra and I just used it right here where I added more coverage because that's where I have my little pickaxe scars. And yeah, I don't know. In my Hello Kitty big mirror, it does look slightly off, like it looks a little bit ashy. But I do also have a lot of discoloration in here, so it looks kind of grayish right here. But then it looks fine everywhere else, so maybe I need to color correct here. Maybe I'll finally color correct. I've been saying that for like what? month two months and i just never do and on camera it doesn't look that bad either so we'll see once we're out in the light because like i always say out in the light you can really see and it does look pretty matte compared to like my nars foundation so this might actually be matte i just obviously i apply really moisturizing sunscreen under but it has this nice little shine probably due to the sunscreen so it looks really nice so I'm gonna see I need to find my receipt just in case maybe I need to go shade up so yeah okay so let's start applying our powder and let's start finishing getting ready wait no I lied so I actually have a blush today I actually have two blushes so I have the Profusion Rosé and I have the Rose Ink one I think I'm just gonna take the same foundation brush just because it is kind of wet and this is the last time I'm gonna use it I think I'm going to go in with the rose ink brush. I feel like it matches my pink here. I kind of want to take it more inward. It's kind of cutesy. But like leading it up here. Okay, so applying it with this brush is really, really nice. It applies it evenly. And it just really blends it compared to my fluffy brush. Okay, that is applying it so nicely. Okay, I applied a little too much here. That is okay. We are going to decrease it with our powder. 
That's so cute. That's so pretty. Okay, let's try and blend this out as much as we can. I'm gonna take it just a little bit more down so that it does blend with our bronzer. That is so cute. Okay, I love that. Uh, so now I kind of just want to let it set a little bit. So for brows, I'm going to do my brows now. If I can find my brow. I don't, I don't know where we're at. So maybe we're not. Should I just go in and set? I don't really want to use a vertical contour just because we do have a bit of ash right here. It looks kind of grayish. I want to see how it looks like in person. So... I think we're just gonna go in our set our face. You guys already know my routine, but I kinda wanna go in with the lavender powder from Fenty. I've had this for a while and I just never use it because it's super messy. But, yeah. Oh, I didn't even apply concealer. That's okay. So I'm gonna take this Wet and Wild and Little Twin Stars brush. It is, I think this is the bronzer brush? I don't even know what this is like labeled as. But I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. 130 buff beige i was thinking of getting or maybe i should have gone the foundation i don't even know if they had 130 a new foundation i think maybe 130 was not looking like this i don't know i will go back and see and maybe i'll just buy them both and then return whichever one i think doesn't fit so i'm just taking the brush and then i'm just really applying it over top of that cream blush and then trying to set my eye and then just a little bit on my forehead and on my chin so now i don't know if i want to go in with this one or not okay so now that i applied the powder made it kind of ashy and kind of pinkish yeah because my body is like yellow so i don't know how to feel we're gonna see how it's in the light let me see how it's in the light and if not well then i don't really know how to fix this i gotta see maybe it is because of the powder that sucks though because i was starting to really like this foundation mm, do i want to go in with the fit me powder or do i want to go in with the lilac powder what do you guys think should we just do the fit me powder let's do the fit me powder I'm just going over top of the area where we applied our pressed powder. I'm just going to take this a little bit more and drag it out. I'm like super oily here, so I'm going to put a little bit extra here. I wonder if that even picked up anything. I don't even think that picks up anything, so I don't even think I applied anything. Let's try again. I mean, this still looks like there's a lot of product, but I didn't pick up anything from the first time like I thought it did, but. Okay, let's move on. So now I'm going to go in and do my brows before I forget. So taking my Amuse powder and then just wiping off the excess from my paintbrush, and I'm going to use that to fill in my brows really, really lightly because I do have veins. And then... Should I go in with bronzer? I feel like I want to go in with bronzer, like powder bronzer. I'm just, so I'm going to take the beige shade and define, and I'm going to go in with my two favorite shades. This is the Moda Quick Contour Brush. I actually kind of want to use this for foundation, just because it is really dense, and it has like a really cool shape. You know? I'm just going to take it over here and down. This fits really well for your jawline. So that's fun. I'm just gonna quickly like vertical contour right here. It's so pretty. These are my favorite because they literally is just so natural. And then it doesn't look like a mess on the side. Okay, so let's apply our base lip color. This is the e.l.f. Lip Tint in Pinkies Up. You guys already know it's my favorite. I was at Ulta and I was thinking of getting a new one, but there's still some product in here and I think I'm going to take out the stopper just to get the most out of this. See, there is stale stuff on here. Some days it just doesn't want to like pick up on the brush, but then like days like today, 
take literally applied a lot of color. So I'm just going to let that set a little bit while I look for a color. But before I look for a color, I'm going to use my blush to go over top. I don't, I really want to use the yellow. Like I miss yellow blush, but I feel like the pink just works so well. So, I feel like this goes really well. I mean, I can always just go in with the Profusion one since we did use that on the eye. I think the AOA one goes better with it, right? Or maybe I'll add some dimension. You know what? We'll just add dimension. I don't think I have a blush brush. Oh, was this supposed to be a blush brush? We're going to use it as blush brush. We're going to use the clean side of this. And I'm going to go in first with the AOA Studio Blush in shade Mod. Now, because this is fluffy and it's big, it's not going to apply as much color as if you were to use a smaller brush. So I'm just going to take that towards all over where I applied that clean blush. That's pretty. Very, very light and natural too. And then to add some dimension, I'm going to go in with the Essence, the blush in the shade 70 Believe In. And I'm just going to take Oh yeah, this one picks up a little bit more color. These are a lot more pigmented. And I'm just going to add that towards the outer edge for dimension. That's so pretty. I love that. That's really, really pretty. So I added just a little bit of dimension. Obviously, you can build these up. But I really want to put the main star on the eyeshadow. Okay, I love the eyeshadow. So now let's go in with highlight. Where is my highlighting palette? If I can find my highlighting palette. Oh wait, I was going to use the Profusion one. I was like, where's my strobe palette? Let me see color. Okay, so I'm going to take the Profusion highlighting palette. I think I'm going to go with this peachy one. Very, very lightly. I'm going to start on my nose first. I kind of want to take this rosy one that we used as a base for our shadow, but let's go with this one first. On the highest point where it like really hits the light. And then we'll see if we want to go in with that pinky one. I love these ones because it's super, super natural. It's not blinding or anything. Like you see, it's really, really natural. And it looks so good in person too. And they're really easy to blend out. It really bugs me how gray it looks right here. It's such a problem area. Mm, I don't think I'll go in with the pink one. I feel I like it like this. I think that's pretty. It's really, really natural too. Like it'll hit the light, but it won't look like a big beam. Now to make sure that that's blended, I'm going to take the powdery side. Or actually not. I'm going to take the blush side as well. Just to blend that out. Making sure that it doesn't look like a line when it hits the sun. So just taking both sides. Really easy. Just a quick little five second extra thing that can honestly make a big difference. So I'll be right back and I will go and look for a lip color and if I don't come back it's because I'm already late because I do only have like 10 minutes. I gotta leave. I still have not put on my outfit. I still have not ironed it. So yeah, I'll be right back. And if I'm not, well then, bye! Okay, I'm back. So the lip color that I chose is going to be the Fenty Lip Cream in Fenty Glow, I believe. So I already put on my outfit, I will show you guys it's cool, and I already have my bag on because I'm literally about to leave. So, for, very quickly, fragrance body combination of the day is Equay Baby Oil and the Aloe Vera, Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Mullen, and to top it all off, it's going to be Kimberly's Tropical Pineapple, and then for deodorant, it's the Dove 0% Aluminum Shea Butter Scent. So, that is our fragrance combination of the day. Hopefully my bangs are done. Oh, okay, my bangs are finally working with me today. Okay, so I'm going, I have some like little hoops that I'm going to put on right now. And yeah, so that's basically it for today's Get Ready Me. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me today. Super chaotic, super late. But yes, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. And we are going to have lunch today. So Andrea Eats is on today. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Get Ready Me. Bye.
this one.